Have you ever wondered how a desert could turn into a green land? In our collective imagination, deserts often evoke images of vast, lifeless landscapes where survival is a constant battle. These are places where the relentless sun reigns supreme and sand stretches as far as the eye can see. We think of deserts as barren and inhospitable, devoid of life except for the most rugged of creatures. But what if I told you that this common perception might not hold true forever? What if I told you that even the most arid of deserts could bloom with life? That's right, we're talking about the remarkable transformation known as desert greening. It's a process where barren sandy landscapes are transformed into lush green ecosystems. Imagine the sight. Sand dunes giving way to thriving trees, bushes and grasses. The once silent desert echoing with the chirping of birds and the rustling of leaves. It's a change so dramatic it feels like something out of a science fiction novel, but it's real and it's happening right now. One of the places leading the charge in this remarkable transformation is Saudi Arabia. Known for its vast deserts and arid climate, Saudi Arabia might not be the first place that springs to mind when we think of greenery. But the nation has embarked on an ambitious project to turn its desert landscapes into green lands. This isn't just about making the desert look prettier. It's about creating sustainable ecosystems, combating desertification, and making a positive impact on the global environment. Saudi Arabia's desert greening project is a testament to human ingenuity and the power of sustainable practices. It's a bold step towards reimagining what our world can look like, and it's a shining example of how we can work with nature rather than against it to create a better future for all. So how does a country turn a desert into a green land? How does Saudi Arabia plan to transform its arid landscapes into thriving ecosystems? Let's take a journey to Saudi Arabia to find out. Scene script. Saudi Arabia embarked on a mission to turn its deserts green, but why? Imagine, if you will, the vast expanses of arid desert land transforming into lush green landscapes teeming with life. This isn't a flight of fancy but rather a mission that Saudi Arabia has undertaken with determination and commitment. A mission to turn its deserts green. So, what's driving this ambitious initiative? The reasons are manifold and they range from environmental to economic and social. Firstly, Saudi Arabia is acutely aware of the escalating crisis of climate change. The country has been grappling with high temperatures, and the greening initiative is a part of their strategy to combat this global issue. By increasing vegetation, they aim to reduce carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, thereby mitigating the harsh impacts of climate change. In addition to the environmental benefits, there's a significant economic incentive as well. Diversification has been a cornerstone of Saudi Arabia's economic policy, and this initiative offers an opportunity to expand into sectors like sustainable agriculture and renewable energy. The shift from oil-dependent revenue towards a more sustainable economy is a strategic move that promises long-term benefits. The social aspect cannot be overlooked either. The greening of deserts would enhance food security, a critical issue that has been a cause for concern in the region for decades. By transforming barren lands into productive farms, Saudi Arabia aims to become self-sufficient in food production, reducing its reliance on imports. Moreover, this initiative is not just about survival, but also about enhancing quality of life. Imagine parks and recreational spaces where there were once just sand dunes. A greener environment will not only foster a healthier lifestyle but also improve social cohesion, creating vibrant communities in the heart of the desert. Saudi Arabia's commitment to this greening initiative is unwavering. It's a bold step towards a sustainable future, one that addresses environmental, economic and social challenges head on. With such a noble cause it's time to discover how Saudi Arabia is making this possible. Turning a desert into a green land is no small feat. It requires careful planning and execution. The process of desert greening is a fascinating journey, a delicate dance between mankind and nature, technology and environment. First, Let's consider the landscape. The desert, vast and seemingly barren, is not as lifeless as it appears. Beneath the surface, potential for life is waiting to be unlocked. This is where the transformation begins. The first stage is site selection and preparation. The area must be cleared of any debris and rocks, and then, leveled. This process is crucial to create a blank canvas, ready for the next stage. Next, the introduction of technology comes into play. The desert greening process makes use of advanced technologies like cloud seeding, drip irrigation and desalination. Cloud seeding, a technique that stimulates rainfall brings the much-needed water to the arid landscape. Drip irrigation, on the other hand, 
ensures that this precious water is used efficiently, delivering it directly to the roots of the plants to minimize evaporation. Then there's desalination, an innovative process that converts seawater into fresh water. This technology is particularly vital in areas near the coast where freshwater sources are scarce but seawater is abundant. The third stage involves the selection and planting of appropriate plant species. Not all plants can survive in arid conditions so the selection is critical. Scientists and botanists work tirelessly to identify and propagate species that can thrive in the desert, often choosing native plants that have adapted to survive in such conditions over centuries. The final stage is maintenance and monitoring. Newly planted areas must be carefully monitored and maintained to ensure survival. This includes regular watering, protection from pests, and ongoing assessments to determine the success of the planting. In time, with patience, perseverance, and a lot of hard work, the transformation takes place. What was once a barren desert begins to change. Green shoots push through the sandy surface reaching towards the sky, trees grow, flowers bloom and new ecosystems start to form, and just like that lifeless sand dunes start to burst with greenery. Despite the promising progress the journey is not without its challenges. As we delve into the heart of this undertaking, it's essential to acknowledge the hurdles that stand in the way. One of the most significant challenges is water scarcity. After all, we're talking about a region where rainfall is a rare event, a place where water is more precious than gold. Yet Saudi Arabia has found a way around this through the clever use of technology. They've implemented advanced irrigation systems that use water sparingly and efficiently such as drip and sprinkler irrigation. They've also invested heavily in desalination plants, turning the vast seawater into a viable source of irrigation. Then there's the issue of harsh weather conditions. In a land where temperatures can soar to blistering highs, maintaining a green landscape is no small feat. But the Saudis have shown remarkable resilience in the face of these extreme conditions. They've adopted specially bred plant species that can withstand the desert's punishing heat and arid conditions. These are not your average garden variety plants. They're hardy, drought-resistant species that have been bred for toughness and endurance. Lastly, there's the challenge of soil infertility. Desert sand is notoriously poor in nutrients, posing yet another obstacle to the greening process. But here too, Saudi Arabia has turned adversity into advantage. They've employed advanced soil treatment methods, enriching the desert floor with organic matter and essential nutrients. Moreover, they've embraced the use of hydroponics and aeroponics, systems that allow plants to grow without soil using less water and space. As we explore these challenges and the innovative solutions employed to overcome them, it becomes clear that turning desert into Greenland is not just a dream. It's a reality being shaped through the power of human determination and ingenuity. Facing the odds, Saudi Arabia is not only surviving but thriving, proving that even in the harshest of environments, life can find a way. Indeed, where there's a will, there's a way. The transformation of deserts into green lands has far-reaching impacts. This is particularly true when we look at Saudi Arabia's audacious desert greening initiative. It's not just about the physical landscape. The effects permeate through the environment, the economy and society at large. First, let's talk about the environment. By introducing vegetation to arid lands we're effectively creating a carbon sink that can help offset greenhouse gas emissions. This green cover also helps to reduce dust storms and desertification fostering a more stable and hospitable ecosystem. Now, on to the economy. This initiative is not just about planting trees, it's about generating economic opportunities. Think about it. Agriculture is being introduced in areas where it was once thought impossible. This leads to job creation, increased local food production, and a boost to the local economy. Industries like tourism can also thrive, as these green areas become attractive destinations for nature lovers. As for society, the benefits are manifold. Access to green spaces has been shown to improve mental health, and the communal effort in maintaining these areas can foster a sense of unity and pride. Moreover, the project serves as a beacon of hope, showing that with innovation and determination, we can reverse environmental degradation. The potential of this project goes beyond Saudi Arabia. It can inspire other arid nations to explore similar initiatives, paving the way for a greener, more sustainable planet. Looking towards the future, the Saudi government has grand plans to continue this initiative, with the aim of greening millions of hectares by the mid-2030s. It's a bold ambition, but given the progress so far, it's certainly within reach. As we wrap up our exploration of this transformative initiative, we're left with a profound realization. 
As we've seen, a desert is not just a desert. It is a canvas of possibility, waiting to be painted green. The Desert Greening Initiative is a testament to human ingenuity and a powerful reminder of our capacity to shape the world for the better.